exactly who Judge Neil Gorsuch is and how this nomination could impact you. So our Andrew Dimbert is digging deeper. He joins us now live with those details. Andrew? Yeah, Jennifer, well, first, Gorsuch is going to need to make it through the Senate. And uh, even though the Republicans have the majority there, senators like our own Jeff Merkley are looking to block Gorsuch at all costs. It's not expected to change the balance on the court. The seat left by late conservative Justice Antonin Scalia is looking to be filled by another Republican-leaning judge. I am keeping another promise to the American people by nominating Judge Neil Gorsuch. If confirmed by the Senate, Judge Gorsuch would theoretically keep a slim 5-4 to four majority for the Republicans on the Supreme Court, but not if Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley has his say. If I'm looking just at the background of this individual, absolutely oppose him. Senator Merkley plans to filibuster or block Judge Gorsuch from being appointed, but that might prove difficult. There are other senators from other states that may be much less willing to completely block a vote. Right now, the Republicans control the Senate with 52 seats. They would only need eight Democrats to stop a filibuster. And even if they don't get that, the Republicans could always just eliminate filibustering altogether. That would be a pretty big change institutionally for the Senate. Meanwhile, Senator Merkley has been vocal in his opposition of any Republican nomination to the Supreme Court after Republicans successfully stopped President Obama's appointee, Merrick Garland. It's the first time in U.S. history that a Supreme Court seat has been stolen. We, this is something that will be in the history books. It should never have been allowed to be happen. Mr. President, I am honored. Gorsuch is arguably President Trump's most important nomination, as he would sit on the court for life. It's also possible that President Trump may need to appoint another Supreme Court justice in the next four or even possibly eight years, as there are a couple of uh, Supreme Court justices there that are getting up there in age. Jennifer, that is something that would really tip the scales. Thanks for breaking it down for us.